Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to discuss how to share results with a patient who has tested positive for HIV infection. So we are going to do this in, uh, in a breaking bad news manner. So we are going to follow the protocol for breaking bad news. The reason for this is because HIV infection is a lifelong illness and it is a life-changing diagnosis. So it is going to significantly impact the patient's quality of life. So any condition which is lifelong or is causing significant uh, disability, um, making the patient quality of life poor, we are going to follow breaking bad news approach, okay? So for the purpose of understanding uh, the protocol for breaking bad news um, in terms of a life-changing diagnosis, we are going to consider a hypothetical scenario. So for the purpose of this scenario, you are in FY2 in acute medical ward, a 25-year-old gentleman was admitted recently with fever, malaise, and generalized lymphadenopathy. He has been recently abroad with multiple unprotected sexual encounters. Therefore, a consent was taken for testing uh, for HIV virus. The test result has come back as HIV PCR positive. Now, your task is to discuss the results with the patient, discuss the long-term management plan, and address and address any questions that the patient uh, might be having okay so you are going to start by introducing yourself and confirming the patient's name and age okay then the second step here is to do a little bit of history taking so we are going to assist the patient's prior knowledge okay so first of all you are going to ask for events leading to admission okay so um here, the patient might drop a clue about his recent travel, but if he doesn't and you know from the notes, then you are going to ask him, I can see from your notes that uh, you have been recently abroad. Can you please tell me a bit about that? Did you encounter anyone during your travel? Did you contact anyone who was um, who was having similar symptoms, etc.? Okay, so explore travel history a little bit and then explore sexual history in detail, okay? So ask about, um, are you in a stable relationship? Any other relationship by any chance? So if the person is in a stable relationship, then you are going to ask him, I'm sorry to ask this, but any other relationship by any chance? And do you practice safe sex, okay? So you're also going to clarify this question. You're going to ask him, do you practice safe sex? By this I mean, do you use condoms, okay? You're also going to ask about the last sexual encounter, okay? And if the, pa the patient had a history of multiple casual sexual encounters uh, while he was traveling and he also has a stable partner then you are also going to ask whether he has been in con um, whether he has been in contact with his partner um, after he was back okay because the reason for this is you want to ensure that if he has uh, picked something up um, while he was abroad uh, and then he has been in contact with his partner, he might have transferred it to his partner as well and then uh, his partner is at risk as well, okay? So you're going to ask these three questions. You are going to explore the, uh, the travel history and you're going to explore the sexual history. Um, so assessment of knowledge will depend upon the patient's background. So for example, if uh, the patient is an IV drug abuser and um, he was also involved in um, multiple... Um, unprotected sexual encounters then you are going to explore history about his uh, partners about his living condition about his iv drug abuse so the assessment of knowledge uh, and the questions here will depend upon the patient's background and the patient's history okay so once you have done a little bit of history taking and you know the patient's sexual history in detail now then you are going to check the patient understanding of the hiv testing itself okay so you're going to ask the patient that recently a blood sample was taken from you for HIV testing. Uh, what's your understanding of, um, of the test, okay? So the patient will tell you uh, what he already knows, what uh, somebody, the, the person who was taking the sample must have explained um, why they want to check the person for HIV. So you need to you need to clarify the understanding of this patient. What does he know? Why was uh, a sample taken from him? Uh, does he know that he's at high risk for HIV or not? Okay. After this, we are going to, you know, we are going to deliver the news, but we are going to deliver the news in, in layers. Okay. So first of all, we are going to sort of invite the patient um, for discussing the blood results. So we will ask the patient that your blood results are, your test results are back. 
uh, would you like to discuss them now okay after this you should give a warning shot so usually when we are breaking any kind of bad news and we are inviting the patient in this step in this step we usually ask the patient to uh, usually ask the patient whether they would like to have someone with them um, while we are discussing the blood results. So we are checking for support, but usually in HIV, um, I would advise you to skip this step because uh, HIV is kind of a, um, it is a sexually transmitted infection and there's a lot of stigma around it and the patient might want to keep it confidential. So I would suggest that you skip that, test, that step and uh, goes directly to the warning shot then we are going to give a warning shot to the patient we are going to tell the patient that um, i have let i have looked at your test results and unfortunately it's not a good news okay in the third layer we are going to actually deliver the news to the patient so we are going to tell the patient that um, unfortunately i'm very sorry to tell you that your blood test is has tested positive for hiv okay so please do remember to aid the world, unfortunately. And I'm very sorry to tell you, okay? A lot of people, they are in a rush and they are under pressure, under the pressure of exam and they are anxious. So they just kind of jump to the, right away to the sentence that your blood test has tested positive for HIV. So they just tell the patient that, um, I have looked at your test results. Unfortunately, it's not a good news. Your blood test has tested positive for HIV, okay? but for breaking bad news, you need to, you know, kind of give a lot of space, kind of do it in layers. So first of all, invite the patient. Would you like to discuss your test results now? The patient will say yes, because in exam, they will, they, they want you to, you know, discuss the test results. So uh, after this, you will go to the warning shop. You'll tell the patient, um, so I have looked at your test results and unfortunately, it's not a good news. And then you will pause for maybe like 10 to 15 seconds and then go to the actually delivering the news, okay? So then very like slowly tell the patient that unfortunately, I'm very sorry to tell you, but your blood test has tested positive for HIV. After this, I want you to remember the golden silence, okay? You need to stop talking after delivering the news, okay? Do not try to, if the patient is silent, that's okay. Do not try to fill, you know, the gaps um with you know endlessly talking okay let the patient absorb the news if the patient shows some reaction the patient starts crying uh, pass them some tissues ask them if they would like to have some water but um do not you know directly rush into the management after this okay this is really really important okay after this, we'll ask the patient, would you like to discuss uh, would you like to discuss the management plan further? Any questions that you would like to ask? Okay. So the patient may ask you some questions here, or he may not. He just wants you to, you know, explain it a bit for you, uh, for him. So just start with explaining the diagnosis. Tell the patient that HIV is a virus that it takes cells in the immune system, making it harder for the body to fight off infections. Okay. Simple in simple words. Um, tell the patient about mode of transmission as well. HIV virus is carried in the body fluid, uh, fluids and therefore can be transmitted through sexual intercourse and sharing needles. HIV virus cannot be completely cured, but can be successfully controlled with medications called antiretrovirals. If not treated, then HIV can progress to an advanced stage, which is called AIDS, and it can prove life-threatening. Okay? So now you explain the diagnosis you explained the mode of transmission and you have told the patient it cannot be cured, but it can be successfully controlled by medications called antiretroviral. Now we are going to discuss the long-term uh, management plan with the patient. So I'll tell the patient, would you like to know what we are going to do next for you? We will, uh, we will do another blood test in a few weeks time to confirm. So basically all the uh, positive PCR positive tests for HIV are retested again with another blood sample to um, avoid any error okay so i'll tell the patient that we'll need to do another blood test for you in a few weeks time to confirm uh, then infectious uh, disease specialist is going to see you and they will start you under antiretroviral medication and they will follow you up at regular intervals uh, 
provide advice about sex sexual intercourse tell them that uh, please use condoms uh, from now on once the infection is controlled um with antiretroviral medications to non-detectable level then there is no risk for the transmission of the virus to the um, to the partner but at the moment the risk is high so make sure you told this uh, to the patient okay we are also going to tell the patient about partner notification program so ask the patient that as the infection spreads through sexual contact then your partners are also at high risk and they also need to get tested if you do not wish to tell them yourself then we can inform them anonymously okay uh, offer some leaflets on HIV and check if the patient has any questions or concerns. Uh, most important thing in this station is to make sure that you kind of break the news very empathetically and in layers, allow sufficient pauses for the patient to observe the information and you do not want to be talking endlessly in this station, okay? And respond uh, appropriately to nonverbal cues. So for example, if the patient is after you break the news, the patient is just quiet and thinking. You can just say that you've been really quiet. Um, what are you, th is there anything that you are concerned about? Okay. If the patient shows any emotions, don't ignore them, acknowledge their emotions and concerns. So this was all about breaking bad news um, or sharing HIV results. The same protocol will apply to any diagnosis that is life-changing or long-term, okay? It can be psychosis, uh, it can be, you know, um, for example, especially in obstetric and gynecology, a diagnosis of intrauterine fetal death or miscarriage, it should be in the form of breaking bad news, okay? So I hope it was helpful and I will see you soon in the next video.